Hello everyone, I'm Cherno Sam, and you're listening to Me Wars Podcast. Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of That Mill Podcast over Christmas. Today we're joined by another footballer, another previous Mill player, uh, Cherno Samba. How you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Not too bad, Omar. How are you? Not too bad, thank you. Thanks for your time tonight. I'm joined also by Neil. You right, Neil? Hello, Omar. How are you going, mate? You all right? All good. So yeah, obviously, if anyone's unaware, Chano Samba started his career at Millwall back in the day, 2000s, wasn't it, Chano, right? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah and then um, he's, he continued, obviously, over the years, uh, played for, so I think he had talks, Manchester United and Liverpool we've got in the show notes here, um, <laughs> from the 2000s. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you went on, to, I think, it was £2 million deals, apparently, was supposedly muted along the way with Liverpool, but obviously, you agreed them to do a three-year deal with Millwall. And was a championship manager legend, which we'll get on to in a little while. Obviously, something myself being a little bit of a geek of the championship manager, that's something kind of yeah. sticks in the memory. But I think Neil's got a question to kick it off with anyway. So, yeah. go on, Neil. Yeah, we'll just start off with your early life. Obviously, you were born in the Gambia, weren't you? And then you moved mm-hmm. to the UK at six. Yeah. And you lived near Vicarage Road, Watford's ground. Yeah, yeah, because my, 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 my parents were there at the time. So, but I didn't live long there. I think it was like a few months. And then my dad had a good job in London. So we had to move to Peckham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you lived... <laughs> yeah, but that must have been a bit of a culture shock. <laughs> <laughs> it was, to be honest. But yeah, I just got used to it very pretty quickly. And you started playing for Mottingham Youth, didn't you? And you had a trial at Charlton. How did all that come about, Jonah? Um, It was my football school team, actually. I was... Uh, um, Oliver Goldsmith, and um, I remember I started at Oliver Goldsmith and I was actually in goal, um, but I was standing there for so long and the ball wasn't coming to me. So when the ball came to me, I just got the ball and started running at everyone and then scored. And then since then, that's when it just, you know, everyone started talking and um, I was playing for Mottingham, but then I had to, had to go at um, Charlton. So, um, but it was so far where we lived in, in, um, in Peckham, travel to Charlton. So uh, my mum and dad said, look, this is not going to be, you know, it's not going to be ideal. And then um, luckily Millwall came and it was just no brainer that, you know, it was my, you know, boyhood club, mate. You did, you, um, sorry, to in. did you know about Millwall, obviously, like obviously being local area, was <clears> showing, he was aware of as soon as you came to the area or? Yeah, yeah, of course. As soon as we came down, I started supporting them straight away because um, like I said, it was, you know, near, near, near my house. So um I was started, you know, supporting Mill. So when they came calling, I was like really chuffed because I thought this is my, you know, childhood club. So there's no nowhere else to go than Mill. Of course. So you've actually scored five goals against Millwall, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did actually. Friendly. Yeah, I did. I was um it was um uh, for uh, for for Mottingham. and then that's when they started taking notice, I guess, because after that, I think it was about five of us and they spoke to the manager and said, "Look, I think we need all five of them. And um, we went there and then, you know, the rest were history, as they say. But yeah, I did score five against them. <laughs> yeah, well, all five of you actually formed the nucleus of quite a good team, didn't you? Can yeah, you we did. Five? Yeah, the famous five. Mm-hmm. We did, we did. We were very strong because um, we had a guy that was a centre-back, you know, a, a guy that was in midfield, a guy that was in the wing, and I was up top with someone else. So... It was like, you know, the, the the spine of a team. So we were very, very, very strong. And yeah, well, I guess you're all yeah, from the same sort of area. So did you know each other fairly well? We did. Yeah, we did. We did because um most of them, I think it was three or four of us actually that that were around Southeast London as well, Peckham. So and we went to the same school as well. So um so we did know each other and it was just, you know, nice and just to go together as a five and then um you know, we, we, we kept in, you know, we kept as a friend and just, just, just kicked on from there. Did you find football easy at that age? I did. It was more enjoyable. I, I wasn't thinking about it as in anything. I was just enjoying myself and just love what I was doing with my mates. So it was about doing nutmegs, scoring the spectacular goals, just free, just enjoy football as a kid. So there was nothing, no pressure at that time. And um, yeah, it's you know what I would give back now to be that 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 child again. Honestly, yeah, it always seems to be the carefree, and yeah, but it's always the best times of your life, isn't it? When you're having a yeah, when you're having a kick about jumpers for goalposts, that kind of thing. Exactly, and exactly, exactly. Tea and, <laughs> and 
<laughs> exactly, exactly. So, um, yeah, it was just fun time. It was just fun. You know, we, we used to talk about it. You know, oh, tomorrow when we when we play a game, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick. It. I'm gonna do a bicycle kick. Oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. And then we actually do it because then we'll talk about it after the game. So it was just you know, as I said, it was just you know, enjoyment enjoyment time at the at that time. Yeah, well, the, yeah, well, the bicycle kick must have gone down well on the estate. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so where exactly was it, sorry, Jono? Where about St. Peckham you grew up? So was it close, uh, sorry, very close to Peckham. then? Or? Yeah, 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 about uh, 15 minutes from my house. Yeah, so it's not, not far from there. So I grew up in um, near, I don't know if you know uh, Peckham, but it's like um, Southampton Way. So it's okay, not, yeah, 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 exactly. So just around there. So that's where, yeah, we did everything, mate. Exactly right. <laughs> yeah, Shoe Gardens, wasn't it? Yeah, it's Kew Garden. There you go, exactly. Yeah, well, exactly. I'm, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Marie Curie House, so I know. Yeah, exactly yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So, you once scored 132 goals in 32 games for your school in one season. How does that work? You must have been just picking up the ball and <laughs> just running yeah. around everyone. Well, you know, my, my 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 strength was I was just so possessive with just scoring goals. I was just obsessed with scoring goals. Sorry, and. All I cared about was just scoring goals. And, um, you know, I remember there was times where I was scoring five, six, seven goals a game. And that just stayed up. And, you know, it's just all I cared about was after the game, how many did I score? It wasn't about, you know, how great I played or anything. It's just putting that ball at the back of the net. You got it right first time. You were possessed. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> so was it too easy for you playing at school? It was easy. It was easy. I felt um, I didn't need to do much. Um, I was, you know, if I must say, I was better than everyone else on the pitch. I believed that at the time. And I've always, I was, I'm, you know, I'm always a very confident person. So it was a matter of, all right, it's time for me to score now and just get the ball and do what I need to do. So it was that that easy, to be honest, yeah. So what was your win bonus at school for scoring? God, yeah. We didn't get nothing. Probably a biscuit and... <laughs> You probably weren't keg and like custard, mate. Goal or anything like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nothing like that. <laughs> so when was so it was after that Millwall friendly that Millwall started paying a bit of attention to you, was it? Yeah, did yeah. you? Yeah, you followed Harry Garber there, didn't you? Who was your yes, Mott yes. Coach? So Harry was um, he was a, he was our coach at Mottenham. So um, Millwall spoke to him and said, "Look, I think it's best for you to come." Um, and just take the boy with Mill. So um, we went, we all went, and then that was it. So he became our coach as well at Mill. So, um, and we were just unstoppable. Uh, and I remember we used to beat teams like Arsenal, uh, Chelsea, you know, QPR, uh, Charlton, every single team that you can think of, we would beat them. We were very, very unstoppable at the time. So um, everyone start, started taking notice. And um, once we got, you know, climbed the ladder with on the 13s and on the 14s. And um, so Harry had to change, we, we had to change managers. And then that's when I think everything were pear shaped for us after that. You, do you wish that Harry could have carried on with you? I, I wish he did, yeah, because he had influence all over us. Um, you know, we would listen to him and because we had him previously with Martin in the Sunday League. So it was just, you know, it makes sense that, you know, we he, he came with us and um, we were very, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? We were very, um, not scared, but we, we, you know, we gave him a lot of respect. So it was like we had to, you know, do well for him and for ourselves as well. So it was, I think once they changed him, that's when, you know, um, a lot of us went astray a little bit. Yeah, 